What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we've managed to wake up a little sum sum, you know, Snorlax, get here into the Pokemon daycare, which we're not going to be using right now, and, well, it is time for us to explore some more stuff right here. There will be Pokemon that we will, we will be capturing around here, but just make sure to find some items, because, well, there are some plenty of items and painters and that guy got in my way and look at this the painters noticing me and he's like a heated battle against a traveling trainer should provide me with the uh, just the inspiration I need alrighty okay let's see what the inspiration will be so here we are taking on artist Georgia alrighty let's go Georgia see what you can do she's gonna be coming out with uh, well she's gonna be coming out with her usual Schmurgle. now there is something about Schmeargles that you have to know, guys. They do have trace attack, and you don't know what kind of attacks they would have traced. Like this guy found himself a water gun attack. That right there is a good thing that we didn't battle battle with our, our fire type starter because that, that, that would have been bad. Very, very bad. And as you guys can see, Poping has defeated uh, Schmeargle. Look at that. And... Our baby girl, Aaliyah, has grown to level 19 while Hurricane getting some more points. Yes, we're doing some stuff, guys. We are doing some stuff. Alrighty, okay, so let's continue on right here. And, uh, well, I'm not going to go through that area just yet because, yes, I don't want to battle any, well, I don't want to battle any Pokemon, but we are not going to be going away from anything right here. So let's go ahead and take on this couple, I think. I think they are a couple. Artist family, Mona and Paolo, and well, let's see what let's see what we can do right here. Let's see. Oh, so we got Poping and Blade. Okay, so we're gonna go with a Karate Chop, and hopefully this other Pokemon doesn't have like uh, you know, it doesn't have any kind of uh, what was it called a? Uh, hopefully it doesn't have any kind of Fire type moves or anything like that because that would be bad, very very bad. Okay, so. That? Oh, crap baskets. Okay, so that right there is not good. But here comes a Karate Chop. Karate Chop does the thing. And just like that, guys. Boom. Poping grows to level 18. And Blade grows to another level. I don't know what level it will grow. But look at that. We just got ourselves level 14. And, well, Star Fox not doing anything but growing. Here comes Metal Sound. This right here will lower its special defense by a lot. Probably should have thought that through. So let's go, Schmeargle. And, uh... Huh. We could go with this one right here. Okay, so here we go. Getting attacked by... I, oh, wow, I had Pursuit. So here goes Karate Chop. And uh, the Karate Chop does the trick. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. And... Well, Mona and Paolo are not happy about this one right here. So that is a victory for all of us. And what is next? Nothing else. Uh, let's see. There should be an item right here somewhere. There it is. Okay. So we found ourselves the X defense, which can be useful for, you know, special, well, special X defense. Now, as you guys can see, we're going to be taking a look at this castle. And our good old buddy, I believe Trevor, is going to be like, Draven, do you know what the, about this building? It's called the Battle Chateau, and it's famous for being the place where trainers gather to improve their skills. If I learn even more about Pokemon, I'm sure uh, I'll, I'm sure I'll be able to defeat Kalos Eight Gym Leaders. Yeah, down saying. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the Parfum Ballast right here, or Battle Chateau. Okay, so as you guys can see, there is the very first Gym Leader that we took on. I can't remember her name. Yeah, that's how forgettable she is. Oh, if it isn't Draven, what is your title in nobility? What? You don't have a title? That's a surprise. No one could uh, could doubt that a kid as strong as you could have one. See, your title here in the Battle Chateau shows everyone how strong you are. Only a handful of trainers can join the ranks of the nobility and earn those titles. Lady Viola, are you acquainted with this young gentleman? I see you're, you carry the bug badge, young sir. It appears uh, that Lady Viola has recognized your ability as a trainer, then. It is a pleasure to meet you, my lord. My name is Hennessy. Yeah, buddy, Hennessy. Can I call you Henny? I don't know. Might I ask your name? Ah, Sir Draven, a fine name. 
I will gladly recommend Draven, so you, uh, so will you grant him the beginning title? He has the makings of a very strong trainer, so I'm sure he will, he will cont contribute to the Battle Chateau. Of course, ma'am. If you are willing to speak uh, for him, Lady Viola, then it's more than sufficient. And besides, I too sense extraordinary potential emanating from young Sir Draven. That's right. Sir Draven, you are hereby granted the title of Baron. Don't know what Baron is, but if you guys know, please comment down below. And trainers with the noble titles can uh, do battle against other trainers with titles of nobility here at the Battle Chateau. The title of Baron or Baroness places you at the lowest rank of the nobility. Continue to battle here and their, your victories will increase your rank and your title. Then it's likely that the higher ranking members of the nobility will appear in hope fighting you, sir. If you ever have any questions, please direct your inquiries to the new clerics at the door. Well then, Sir Draven, Lady Viola, I will take my leave now. Wow, we are we are we are royals now, I think. I'm sure a member of the nobility or I'm also I'm also a member of the nobility, so let's battle again if we ever get the chance. Okay, let's go right ahead and do the thing. Okay, so we're gonna be battling everybody, guys. And it appears that we can battle I think there's like about eight different battles right here, so that's probably what we're gonna be doing right now. So here we go, taking on Baroness Francine, and she's gonna be coming out with a flabebe. Alright, flabebe. Time to deal. Time to deal with Pope Hing right here. Wonder how Yeah, I wonder how fighting types could work against uh, fairy types. So we're gonna use a KO can attack right here. And here comes the lucky chance. This will increase its chances of critical hits, so... Let's go right ahead. Comet Punch. Alright, Comet Punch. Bam! Always first, and there we go again. That was a critical hit. Oh, look at that. One more. And just like that, Flabebe has been defeated. Alrighty. Okay, alrighty. And Francine is not too happy about this one right here, so... Oh, and by the way, you do get a lot of money for just winning people right here, okay? So, let's go ahead and move on into the next area. And, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and use a different Pokemon. Let's go with the GOAT, Jordan himself. So, let's go right here. And here we have another nobility guy. And he's like, friend, let me your ear. For I am a great dentist, envy of all holder of lofty rank of Baron. One word alone appears in my mighty Lexian. That is, oh wow, okay, so he cannot be defeated. It's pretty cool, pretty awesome. So here we go, taking on Baron Dana, Dennis. And he will be coming out with a uh, Riolu. So there we go, Riolu, how's it going? Let's go right ahead. Well, it's not a special attack, but let's go with the Razor Leaf attack. The GOAT himself, Jordan. Kick it some butt, but here comes a force palm, and that will not paralyze us. So here we go again, Razor Leaf, and here comes an endure from Riolu. So that right there will ensure well Riolu that he'll have one HP. And there it is, one HP. So let's go straight for a tackle attack. And just like that, Riolu has been defeated. Look at that. Okay, and bam! The goat himself, Jordan, gets to level 15. Alrighty, okay, alright. And, uh, well, Davis is, or Baron Dennis is not happy. Not, not too happy. Okay, so let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's move on right here. So we're going to, I think that was like two battles right there, guys. So let's go ahead and take on the next trainer. And let's give another, another uh, Pokemon experience right here. Let's go with Star Fox. I think we want to use Blade and all that stuff. So Leon? Lion? I don't know, some of these Pokemon trainers' names are like French and stuff, so I kind of want to like, I don't know, emphasize it a little. So here we go, take it on a Ralts. And here comes Star Fox. Alrighty, Star Fox, how's it going? Let's go with a Fire Charge, or, yeah, Flame Charge. Man, I'm, going, I'm doing good with all the names, and well, Ralts has been defeated. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That is how you do it. Of course, I'm drinking water because you guys already know. I'm getting a cough here and there. All right. Let's see. She's seen us. We get the opportunity to change what kind of Pokemon we can use. Let's go with Hurricane. Hmm. All right. 
I want uh, the kind of thrilling excitement that money can't buy. So I battle. I think that's what she's trying to say. Sue, here we go. Take it on Baroness Renee, and she will be coming out with a scatter bug. And, well, the funny thing about that, I chose correctly. All right, let's go, Hurricane. Let's get it. Gust attack. All right, look at this, Gus. Oh, yes. Scatterbug defeated. And there we go with some more points and bleed. Grows a level 15. Yes, I'm doing pretty well. I'm doing pretty well for myself right now, guys, so... Let's see. So that's another victory for us, and... Let's see, I think if we go into this room, we'll be able to get, like, a notification. Oh, we got two people right here. All right. Let's do it. All right, uh, Blade. Okay, so talk to this person. Are you new around here? I mean, why else would you dare to battle someone like me, said to be the next Viscount in the making? Okay, so we got a cocky little you-know-what, guys. So let's go right ahead and take on Evren. Wow, what kind of a name is Evren? I do not know. And here comes Blade. Hey, right, Blade. We got to move here. Let's go with a Fury Cutter. And here comes a Growth Attack. Now, I was going to be doing a, a Swords Dance, but... You know, Fury Cutter does increase every single time, so... Oh, buckets. Yeah, this is not cool. This is not cool. How are you going to just paralyze us? But guess what? Bam! Badoo! Defeated. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. And everybody else gets some points. Yes, sir. Okay. All righty. So. Let's see. <laughs> so you're more capable than uh, your plebeian looks would suggest. What the heck is plebeian? Did he just call me a... Did he just call me a bum? Comment down below, guys. If you continue winning battles like this, I expect your ranked and ability to increase. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think that's another segment that we need to put onto this or something. Uh, what are these words? And here is the description. Because your boy Draven, you can tell he hasn't read a lot of books and all that stuff. He's more of a sporty kind of dude. Yeah, this would kind of help with my, my vocabulary and all that stuff. What do you guys think? Be nice, guys. Be nice. And, well, here we are taking on Spoink. Let's go ahead and do the Electro Ball. Let's go, Aaliyah. Finish him. And, oh, wow. So, if you guys didn't notice, the Electro Ball is based off the weight of the Pokemon. So, unfortunately for us, yes, it won't have much of an effect because Spoink is not that heavy. And here comes a psych up attack. That right there is, uh, well, it's something in itself. So, here we go. Quick attack. Not good. And, okay, so why are you letting me win? I don't know. Let's get it. Quick attack. For the win. And just like that, Spoink has been defeated. That's right. How's it feel to fail? And, well, Baroness, the Baroness has been defeated, so I am happy about that. And... Well, let's see. I feel like my heart is fit to is fit to break. This is the first time I've ever felt like this. Ah, my bad. Okay, and well, there's a jingle there. And what do we have, ladies and gentlemen? Please, your, uh, please turn your attention to the entrance and welcome the new Baron Harrison. We hope that you will welcome him in the midst of the train in our ways. Okay, so we need to find this Harrison guy and uh, defeat him. That way. That way we can earn another title. So that was like, what, five battles probably? I don't even know. Let's see. And yes, this is Harrison. I did not read exactly what he said, but we're just going to beat him. So here we go. Taking on Harrison himself. And he is coming out with a horsey. And, well, the good thing is we got Aaliyah ready to go. Let's do it. Electro Ball. And... Yeah, buddy, that is how you do it. That's right, my baby girl Aaliyah, still dominant, a dominant force in this, and Poping has grown to level 19, and just like that, guys, we are victorious. And let's see, let's see. So look, since I lost and all, I'm gonna level to gonna level with you, pal. I'm actually super crazy poor, like poor than dirt poor. See, uh, but I'm going to raise my rank here to use my revenge on... Oh, okay, so... Well, there's nothing there's nothing wrong with being poor, guys. I mean, I've been poor. 
<laughs> Alright, so since we've defeated most of everybody, uh... Homegirl right here is going to be like, Baron Day Draven, for, uh, farewell, uh, my good sir. But before you leave, I have pleasing news to share. Due to your recent excellence in battle, you have been granted the title of Viscount. My heartiest congratulations, sir. I hope that you will accept my most humble compliments on this wonderful day. I look forward to having the opportunity to see you battle again here in the Battle Chateau. Okay, alrighty, so. I don't... I don't remember... I don't remember how often you get to do this, but... I think it, it, it tapers off when you defeat every gym, so it's probably like that. I don't even know, guys. Okay, so let's continue our adventure right here. We got a we got a painter, so let's go right ahead and switch it up to Poping, and uh, let's do let's do let's do the little jingle. A black canvas before on me, uh, and yet inspiration from the paint. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go. Take it. And, uh, well, we're going to be taking on Pierre. He's going to be coming out with a Schmeargle. Schmeargle. And, again, Schmeargle does have the uh, Trace ability, which will, you know, copy any kind of move it got hit by last. So here we go, Karate Chop, and this is a Thundershock. Holy buckets, okay. And the Karate Chop does the trick. Here we go, Schmeargle defeated. Okay, alrighty, look at that. Alrighty, and Hurricane has been, well, growing, and Aaliyah grows level 20. And yes, we have defeated another individual right here. So what we're going to do next, guys, is uh, pretty simple. We're going to be switching out because coming this way, we're going to be going here. And the crew will be following us for... All four of us are right here, and our girlfriend Serena is going to be like, If you all don't mind, I'd like to have a Pokemon battle with everyone. Now, how should we pair up? Hmm. Let's go with Tierno and Trevor against Sensei and me. Sure, let's go right ahead. Okay, Sensei. Since we're neighbors, we might as well battle together, right? Whatever you say, baby. Okay, so here we go. Taking on Tierno and Trevor, and they're both going to be coming out with a Pikachu and a Courtfish. Alrighty. Star Fox, Fletchling, let's go. Alrighty, let's see. This is how we're going to do things. We're going to side beam him and quick attack that guy. That might paralyze you. Here comes a side beam. And there goes Pikachu. Yes, we are picking on one person. And, well, let's see. Nothing else. Jordan the Goat got himself to level 16 and is learning Worry Read, which I don't need right now. And, well, here comes a vi Vice Grip. That is going to hit us. It's not a super effective, but here comes a Flabebe. Big mistake. So, let's go right ahead and side beam this guy, Corfish. And here comes a Quick Attack. Nope. That's not a Quick Attack, I think. That's a Peck Attack. Huh? Here we go. Side beam Attack. Defeats Corfish. Okay, alrighty. And just like that, we get to level 25... And, well, Blade grows to level 16. And this right here is going to hit Fletchling. So it's a two-on-one assault right here. Let's go. Not that. Let's go with a Flame Charge. It's not going to be super effective, but it's still going to hit. Alrighty. Let's go. Flame Charge for the win. And Flabebe defeated. And, well, look at this. We are victorious, and, well, he's like, whoa, what? that was a nice move. So you can't learn everything just from the Pokedex, I see. Yes. Look at that. I don't know what, what to call our team, but it's, it's sure fantastic. It sure, it, it sure is interesting to see how different each trainer style is. Well, I guess we should be we should head off to Ambrit Town then. Well, that is true. So what's going to happen here, guys, is I am going to stop the game right here. In the next episode, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff. There's quite a few things. A lot of things. Capturing a lot of Pokemon and all that stuff. But thank you guys again for being patient. Thank you guys again for watching. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. See you guys.